Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> okay, now, does this mean a little bit more because it's voted for by the critics? Do you like London critics? Do I like the critics of London, of the world, and of, of, uh, of, of Greater Britain? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I don't really read the reviews of anything that I'm involved with, because I think... I think, uh, and I'm quoting someone else here, I'm quoting my wife, uh, but I don't think we can read them sensibly, I think. Uh, the odd time that I have read them, I've always managed to find the bad ones. Um, so that really has turned me off of, of reading them. But um, but yeah, they're, they do a great job. And they can, it can't be, I always think it must be very difficult because you see 500,000 million films a minute. How can you be, how can you maintain objectivity? How can you... But they do, and, uh, and I think it's fantastic. So to, so to receive a nomination from them is fantastic. I'm very, very honoured. So it's had so many nominations and so much accolades spread on it already. I know. There's 14 nominations at the BAFTAs. Have you been surprised by the fuss everyone's made over, or did you know it was, it was a good one? Uh, no, it has been a surprise. Uh, I knew that this film could be fantastic, and I knew that the script was incredibly good. But you don't ever really... You never really dare to to think that anybody else will like it. You only go along and think, well, we'll make the best of it as we can. So when people do like it, it is a big surprise, you know. I'm very, very chuffed, yeah. very chuffed. Have you guys been practicing your winner's speeches or your happy loser faces? Um, the happy loser face goes like this, hey! And the, the, winning spe- the winning face goes like, hey! So they're really remarkably similar, you know. Nice yeah. Everyone always goes on about the women what they're going to wear, what they look like. But what about you? Have you picked your outfit out for the Oscars for the Bath? <laughs> Have I picked my outfit? Yeah, I'm going to wear a nice chiffon number, I think. Um, no, I haven't picked out my outfit yet. It might not happen for the Oscars. Uh, the BAFTAs, thinking something in black, perhaps. I was Tonight is meant to be black tie, and I didn't realise until I got here, and I'm wearing a bloody brown suit with blue stripes. So I'm, I'm being in trouble, I think, tonight. Do you really think the Oscars might not go ahead? I don't know, really. Nothing's definite. And there's no... I have no idea. No idea. The bosses seem to think so. They keep, they keep saying the show will go on, but... I think they've got to, really. You know, World War II didn't stop it, so... Surely a writer's strike in their eyes won't stop it, but uh, I think it's all going to be... We'll see as it unfolds, I suppose. I guess it will be a bit more low-key. I guess this is a very different preparation for it than we've had in other years. I suppose so. I don't know. I mean, I went to the one last year, so that's my only thing to compare it to. And I don't know. I, th- I think when you get that many people in a room who have done so many great things, it's always going to be exciting to be there. So that's that's what I'll remember anyway, if it happens. Finally, consistently working, and your next film's with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. I know. Uh, what well, about it? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Put an end to the speculation. Is she going to be a mum again? I have no idea. I have no idea whether she's going to be a mum again. Um, but I'll be sure not to ask her next time I see her. Thank you very much. See you later.